been a lot of people scrambling this weekend. That rock fall at Meads Quarry actually sent one person to the hospital. Quarry is still closed after hundreds of tons of rock, they say, came crashing into the water. Question is, how does this happen? Our Jared Austin spent some time today finding out, and he found it's more common than you might think. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. A massive rockfall injuring someone at Meads Quarry is forcing IAM's Nature Center to bring in geologists to assess the damage. Any vertical slope out in nature is, is potentially unstable. Swanee geology professor Max Dahlquist saying millions of years of weather changes, rain, and earthquakes are reasons why we see rockfalls like this. There are things you'll see before this happens, though. You'll see small amounts of rock coming down, or you'll hear fractures. You'll hear sounds like loud bangs. If you hear anything like that, if you see dust coming off of a rock face, that might clue you in that something might be starting to happen. While terrifying for Meads Quarry visitors, Dahlquist saying it happens often across the country. This was a pretty big one, but this is a common thing, especially where you get uh, something like an old quarry where there's this big slope that people cut a long time ago. For how to stay safe at quarries, Dahlquist keeping it simple. Just be aware. Uh, it, anytime you have changes in the weather, anytime you've got had a lot of rainfall recently, the these rock masses like you get at the quarry can be particularly unstable. In Knoxville, Jared Austin, WVLT News. And this could happen more often. A geologist at ETSU says rainfall is expected to get more intense here, meaning we could see more rock slides and landslides in East Tennessee.